Hey everyone, White here. So I'm going to um, present you uh, what I've been working on lately in terms of input lag. So uh, what I wanted to do is reproduce some of the results that we have found on Display Lags channel and on uh, Noodles channel. And um, those are not um, perfectly aligned, so I wanted to uh, put my uh, results to the test. And uh, here's what I've uh, come up with. So there's a lot of mess and I'm going to uh, show you uh, what is my methodology. So uh, here's the whole uh, acquisition uh, or uh, capturing channel. So you have at the very beginning a PS360 Plus, which is a PCB. And here it is. And um, there's two buttons that are bound. Uh, the first is LK, the second is M MP. The LK will be used uh, just uh, as a synchronization um, principle and those are bound um, in this uh, spare uh, FC4 uh, D-pad. And um, this uh, PS360 Plus is connected to the gaming PC via the um, a USB uh, cord, pretty simple. It is directly connected to the motherboard, there's no uh, USB hub or uh, it's not using the front panel which can be um, uh, a bit different. So it's directly, uh, directly to, uh, connected to the motherboard and uh, at the output of this we have an HDMI. So this is the cable, and the cable goes right into uh, this box. And this box is a uh, Potter video encoder, uh, video converter. And what it does is that it converts the HDMI input into a component. And the components are those three separate SCIE uh, plugs. And how it works is basically um, there is the Y channel, the PR channel, and the PB. And the Y channel um, contains the black and white um, signal, and then the PR and the PB uh, corrects this signal in order to display colors, right? So um, how it works, um, uh, how the core of the method work and it's it's come uh, uh, it's been used by noodle actually is to uh, bind to the MP button a small circuit that um, that aims to cut this signal when the button is pressed and if you cut the signal signal you will have no colors on the screen. And because it's analog, you will see it right, uh, the, the, the image will turn gray right when you press the button. That's where there is no lag and that's where you sync uh, everything. And after that, you have those uh, free components that goes inside your acquisition or capture card and it's right there it's the other media LGX and you can see the free components uh, free uh, video component signal that goes inside this little box and um, this box is connected to another PC and this is a spare PC I had uh, it's it's not really beefy, but it's capable of um, recording um, a scaled down signal. And here's the the PC running, and you can see inside the other media capture, you can see the game that is currently running. If I press some buttons, you can see it works. And if I press LK, nothing happens. If I press MP, you can see that the screen turns gray. And if I let, if I keep pressing it, the screen is still gray. So, how it works in the end, let me 
just put you in good view of the screen while I while I'm handling some stuff. So here's how it works. Um, this is a video capture that I did um, this afternoon, and um, uh, obviously it, it's not really comfy right there. But you can see the actual video uh, on my channel, and you you'll see uh, some links. And um, uh, here I slow down the the signal uh, or the video by uh, four. And what I do is I just press LK MP LK MP and right after the day LK I can stop the video and go frame by frame in order to track this frame. So let me show you in detail. This frame uh, has uh, a bit of uh, green here and the, the green part is right at the moment uh, that I press the button. Uh, you can't see it obviously here, but on, on top of this there is color, on the bottom there is no color. And um, on, with the small ruler that I did here, I track when the, um, the, the gray area arrives. So if it's in uh, this part, it's on the first millisecond of the frame. And this will condition uh, a bit uh, what you can see after that, or what you can measure. So basically what it says is that during the drawing of the frame, in the first millisecond, I, I pressed the um, MP. And if I go through another example, next frame, next frame, next frame, here it's it's on the fourth or fifth um, millisecond uh, that arrives. And depending on when you press uh, the button, you will have different results. And uh, that's what I've recorded. I've uh, taken some measures and it's, uh, if you just record a lot of stuff, you just check when it's pressed and how, ma how many frames it took to have uh, the, the inputs out. Uh, so here, if we take this example, I have um, on the fifth frame, uh, very uh, of, on the fifth millisecond, if I just go frame by frame, first frame, second frame, fourth, uh, third frame, and on the fourth frame, Kami will execute its uh, Earth's uh, MP. MP. So, <clears throat> uh, after that, it's just a matter of compiling the results and have um, consistent results and try to understand if uh, something goes wrong or not. And I'll let you judge the rest. So, I've been wide um, and thank you for watching this till the end. It's really important because uh, input lag is rarely understood correctly and um, all the parts that you can find here is pretty simple to reproduce. I hope that someone, uh, more people will, will do this. Um, and um, thank you for watching again and see you. Enjoy!